Hello, my friends. I hope you've had a wonderful week so far. Is it crazy that tomorrow's Friday and we're back to the weekend? I'm actually pretty excited. Today, we're going to go ahead and play around with the items from the Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of November. Believe it or not, it is on Le Face. Items from this $14 bag helped create this look easy, wearable, pretty good for every single day. And when you guys see this palette in action, what? Before I shock you guys looking a hot mess because I did not start the video looking like this, I wanted to thank you guys for the birthday wishes for Miss Tai Tai. She had an absolute amazing day. She went shopping to all her favorite stores, had a wonderful hibachi dinner, and we cut her a cake at home. She was a very, very happy girl. Even this morning, she was talking about it. And I told her how my YouTube family and Instagram family had been wishing her a wonderful birthday, and she was just in awe, in shock, surprised, and super grateful. So I'm expressing her thanks, but I'm also expressing a thanks to you guys. You guys have seen my Tai Tai since she was like three years old. She's 11 now, you guys. It's crazy. It's bananas. I'm going to link all of my Ipsies below. I've got the icon try on and everything. That way, if you have not checked it out, you can kind of like get up to speed with it. And I'll also link some like recent videos uh, in the description box as well. I'm going to start off with the Formula Z, the Z Flesh. I tried the other one because it was like a two pack. I think a two pack for a affordable bag like this one it was very nice some brands will only give you the one but they gave us two so i got to try one behind the scenes and then now i have another one that i could actually show you guys on camera my under eyes really really liked this I have an update on my skin if you watched the past few videos you would have seen this bump which i have some sponsorships that were pre-filmed so you'll see more in like the next video versus what you're seeing today i've really been addressing my my, uh, my skincare because we have a bit of a problemita. I'm gonna start applying. Oh, it's so juicy. I forgot about that. I talk a lot for those who don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm very hyper. I'm all over the place. I use my hands and the people that don't like it, I'm so sorry. I can't stop me for you. It just doesn't work that way. Then I wouldn't be authentic. And if you don't like authenticity, then this is not the place for you. This mask is, it's a, it's a mask, right? But it's like a paper. It's like a little mesh and it's nice and soft. It doesn't feel heavy. Like, you know how the jelly ones totally feel slightly heavy? This you kind of forget that's even on. I like the little like metallic design, it's super cute. And yeah, I really liked this. It was like very moisturizing under the eye ball. So let me tell you guys what's going on with my skin. Yes, Flowey was being hoey. Plus, about a week prior to flow, I tend to get mini breakouts. Mini meaning something super tiny, something like tiny, tiny, not a big deal. This skin issue started about a week and a half ago, which I found it odd because I was like, oh, this is kind of early. And my first acne situation was down here. It's healed, but you guys can see now I've got scarring. I never get scarring from flow acne. It got big and it was uncomfortable and I was like, okay, that's weird. It's been years, I'm talking. 12, 13 years since I've had like a really bad acne breakout. So I was like, okay, I'll deal with it. Pimple patches, focus on skincare. But then I ended up getting a big old thing here and I wasn't sure. This has to stay under the eye for like 10 to 15 minutes. I just want to give you a little situation story. You know what? Let's work on the brows. While I'm giving you my situation story, this is going to be the precisely my brow pencil in number six. They had this available as like a travel or like a deluxe for the glam bag. This is by Benefit Cosmetics. It's been years, but whatever. I ended up getting like a cystic thing here and I wasn't sure if it was a mosquito bite or if it was like an outbreak an out outbreak a breakout <laughs> and it was weird because it was like uncomfortable but itchy but so i was like oh, is it a mosquito bite well anyway i kept applying pimple patch over pimple patch over pimple patch and here we go again we've got scarring i'm not concerned about the scarring because i can lift it my issue becomes am i allergic to something so then I started to realize within the past week and some change that my skin was feeling dry and rough. And granted, you know, it's Florida, but the weather does change and so does your skin with the air and whatever. So I was like, oh, well, you know, fall vibes are here. So maybe it's just adapting to the weather. Like I literally had an excuse for everything, right? My skin's feeling like dry and honestly kind of rough. And I was like, man, I'm moisturizing and it's not helping. Oh, that brow's looking actually really nice. Okay. Then this little monster came through and this monster it was like one of those cystic ones that you can feel coming like from underneath it's like all the layers of the skin and I was like oh that's painful just even talking and my chin skin moving it was like very painful I did the very same thing dealt with it addressed it and it was horribation horribation and yes if you're new here I make up my own words the point is this 
this and this one down here were not absolutely not hormonal acne and my dry skin is absolutely not due to the change of season i know my skin very well i even noticed that applying makeup there were days that like what i would normally do and makeup that i would normally use was not looking the same it just didn't look as pretty so it turns out there are three products i am potentially not i'm not gonna say allergic too, but my skin is not loving. It's just not agreeing with it and has caused all of this. So I stopped all three. Two days ago, 100% improvement on the skin. Now I just have to deal with, you know, the scarring. The problem is I liked all three and I'm pretty sure it wasn't all three. There's only one that caused an issue. So now I have to like do process of elimination. So for the next few days, I'll try one. And if I don't react to that one, I can keep using that. Then I'll try the other one and we'll just keep going until I figure out which one I'm allergic to uh, or, or that my skin doesn't agree with. And then I'll let you know which one it was. I'm so annoyed, like so, so, so annoyed. Okie dokie, I am back. It's been like 10 minutes. I did a good bit of talking. So, you know, it's not like I was bored, but that's what happened, <laughs> my skin. It feels rough, even like hydrators and stuff like that. It just does not feel good. It's so weird. Also, this serum, it's really nice. You know how some serums feel tacky and weird afterwards? This feels hydrating, super cooling, uh, almost like a water to the touch. I'm gonna apply the Carrot Plus Niacinamide uh, Moisturizer by Saturday Skin. I have the full size, it's in the bathroom. Truth be told, I don't wanna get up. So we're just gonna apply this one. I like that it's not fragranced and I like that it's lightweight. It kind of feels like you're not doing much of anything. Unfortunately, I feel like this is not gonna do much to my skin because of its condition. It's getting better though. So I'm just really going to apply this and massage it onto the skin. And then in terms of foundation, I wanna go very, very, very lightweight. I didn't get a foundation in this box. I have not tried this because it's a cleanser and I've been going through like that skincare issue that I was just telling you guys about. So I just, again, I don't wanna introduce new skincare until I figure out what problem I'm having with my skin or what's causing the problem. For the skin, I don't wanna go in with a full on foundation, so I'm gonna use this baby. This is by Anastasia, Bever Anast Anastasia Beverly Hills. I like this little stick product. It is their Beauty Balm in number 10. It is like my spot on shade. It also feels hydrating, so I'm gonna kinda like do one of these. Entonces, I am going to use one of these little sponge applicators. I'm gonna press and kind of like push the product onto the skin. Also from ABH, these are, no, well, no, the beauty balm I did not get from a Boxy Charmer and Ipsy. This is actually really nice. This is their contour mink contour stick in mink. So it's a contour stick in mink, and then I'm gonna kind of go down like this. Here, I noticed that with my PCOS and my inflammation, sometimes I look a little chunkier in the face, so we're gonna try to correct that today. And then even my neck. I know I don't have a double chin, but depending on the angle, it kind of seems like I do. So I like to try to hide it. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna press that contour. Again, we're not gonna do too much. Balance the nose out a little bit. I don't do this all the time though. And then here, I'm just gonna brush and blend and push back. Kind of chisels out your jawline. I'm gonna conceal, but um, I wanna make sure that my under eye stays in place. So I'm gonna go in with my Level Up Primer. I know you're thinking, wait, what? Girl, trust me. Ask Rhonda and ask Nicole. Apply a little bit of the primer, blend her out, give it like 10 seconds and then go in with your concealer. That baby is gonna prime and set your under eye for hours, especially if you get some creasing, but you wanna go lightweight with it. And I'm going in with my concealer. This is the Kosas concealer. And I know these are not items that I got in the bag, but technically in the bag, the only other items I need to feature are like these two things. So I thought, since I always get questions on the product I'm using, I might as well just kind of quickly show you guys what I'm using. And this is a BK Beauty Nikki LaRose uh, N16 beautiful brush. Great for the eye, great for the under eye. To set the under eye, I'm gonna use the Puff Puff Pass by Kim Chi, but I am gonna use Banana. My bronzer will be Sigma's Matte Bronzer in Dark. I'm not gonna overdo the bronzer. We're keeping it kind of simple today, but I uh, wanna add some dimension to the skin. And then my blush will be Happy Go Rosy by MAC. Now we can get to the eyeballs. I'm gonna prime the lid, y'all already know, with my Level Up Primer. I'm gonna blend that out with a brush. We're gonna keep the eyes simple, but I'm very curious about this palette. 
a lot of people ended up getting it in their bag and I'm gonna be real honest, it swatched so good. I'm very curious to see how this is going to perform. And I feel like I saw this on add-ons for like $3.50. So I have really high hopes for this palette. The shades don't really have names though. So it's kind of like, uh, or if they do, I mean, kind of can't read them. It says plier, intender, relever, glisser, and ha girl, I don't know. It looks like there's names at the back. I am going to kind of blend back and forth. I'm gonna keep it above the crease area. So on the crease, but the upper crease. And this is gonna be that lighter brown shade. I don't know that they had more than one variation in terms of color story. And I really want this color to show, so I'm gonna build it up. I feel like I wanna go dark on the outer corner, but this shade here is screaming my name. So I figured let's try that one. It's one of the shimmers. Okay, that one is performing and this is a $3.50 palette. So I am not mad at it. I am literally, I swiped. Now I'm just kind of patting to blend it out and it's looking really good. Oh, that's pretty. The only thing is be extremely careful because it's very creamy. So you don't wanna go in too heavy handed into the palette or you're gonna like create a weird dent in it. It's almost like a cream in powder form. Same brush I used on the crease. I am gonna go on to the deeper shade. I will focus that one out here on the outer V, bring it up a smidge. I'm gonna stop in this very awkward phase in the makeup. To remind you guys to make sure you're doing all the things for me, make sure you're hitting the like button, you're commenting as we go along. And if you're new here, please make sure you are joining our little family here on the YouTube by hitting the subscribe button. Your interactions with my videos tells YouTube that you're enjoying the content. Not only does it help me, but it also helps customize your experience on the platform going forward. Additionally, we must take a moment to say hello and thank you to our channel members, the G Squad, an amazing group of people who have joined channel memberships and are supporting the channel at a higher level. If you're ever interested in joining, all you need to do is hit the join button below and you're good to go. I still need to blend that top area, but with the very tip of the brush, I'm kind of going to go back and forth like this. I want to add a little something without making it too much. With a clean, fluffy brush, I'm not going to do all the blending. I want to keep it simple and I'm just going to kind of press and blend this very edge so it looks gradient, but I wanna keep it nice and like intensely brown the way that it is. It's very pretty. I like the palette. Spoiler, it's a very good palette. I'm not mad at it for $3.50, you guys. If you see it in the shops, you need to try it, snag it. It's totally worth you trying. Having it at home, it's great for travel. Pigment down, okay, it's super pigmented. I'm gonna apply a black liner on my waterline really quickly. And then I'll move forward, apply some falsies. These are gonna be the self-adhesive clusters from Timu Love. Like I'm placing an order and I'm stocking up because this makes life so much easier than an actual strip lash. Although I still love my strip lashes. But this for every day is like, yes. And they stay freaking put, at least this style does. And then I will add the Bobbi Brown mascara that I got in, I wanna say it was the Icon box. So I'll add that and I'll be right back. Okay, but how pretty are the eyes? Look, I am going to pat myself on the back because it came out so pretty for $3.50, what? And these lashes are like so affordable off of Timu too. So I'm gonna move forward and apply one of Elf's liners because it's the ones that I've been using lately. They're so good. I think this one's called like Baddest Beige. I've been using it so much every time I use that I have to like sharpen it. All right, so I'm gonna line the lip. See, like a very natural color. And then I'm going in with the Fenty Lip Gloss that I got, which is so, it's itty, but it's so stinking cute. It's itty, but it's pretty. I love this shade. It's so wearable, so pretty. I never thought I'd end up being a lip gloss girl. And it's not all formulas or all colors, but I do have some that I'm just like, what? I'm obsessed with. You know what? I said I wasn't gonna do much and I technically did not, but this is looking so pretty. Like this could totally be my New Year's look or my Christmas look or my thing. This could totally be a holiday look, girl. The makeup is done and it is your turn to give your feedback. Give me your opinion. What do you guys think? Are you excited for these? Would you stock up on these for $3.50? Cause I would. This is so pretty, so good. And I mean, come on, it's Fenty. Were you able to snag this palette in the shops where as an add-on, let me know in the comments. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. And if you've made it all the way through, you are a rock star. Thank you so much. I hope you've interacted with today's video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.